It is often noted that for genes which fruit flies have one copy of, vertebrates possess four. It is thought that the following sequence of events occurred to allow vertebrates, especially the higher vertebrates, to have such complex body plans. It is thought that there was a genome duplication, a doubling of chromosome number, somewhere prior to the evolution of the first fish. Such accidents happen, and they can be observed in many groups. It is thought that uh, between the early chordates and the first fish, there was a genome duplication event, which turned uh, this single Hox cluster into two Hox clusters. And then, before the evolution of the first jawed fish, there was another genome duplication, which turned two Hox clusters into four. Now, each lineage of vertebrates, such as humans, then uh, were free to eliminate some of these Hox genes or apply them uh, to new functions. And so when we look at the human Hox clusters, there are four of them, and uh, they uh, do not necessarily contain all of the original 13 Hox genes if mutations have accumulated which have rendered some non-functional. But the four human Hox clusters seem to have evolved from one single ancestral cluster in invertebrates through two rounds of genome duplication. While the first bony fish have four Hox clusters, as do most vertebrates, it seems before the evolution of the teleost fish, the group of bony fish which make up most fish alive today, there was yet another genome duplication. And so that uh, the teleost fish can have between five and eight clusters of Hox genes, suggesting that once again another genome du duplication doubled the number in ancestral teleost fish.